Alright guys, welcome. Here's a little tutorial on how to use the uh, RNG helper for the PC version. And uh, this, this is a tutorial exclusive for the mod uh, called Struggle for Freedom. And uh, it, it will only work on, on this uh, following this tutorial. And um, so far I've done a little bit of, of playing around with it and uh, I've gotten it to work consistently. So I'm gonna share that with you. Uh, uh, first off, you gotta set up the um, RNG helper, and always set the spawn chance to 10%. Um, they changed all of the chests' appear chance on Sorobi Stepper to 10%, so it's very easy to set up because all of them now have a 10% chance. This is why it only works for the Struggle for Freedom mod because it's not the same in the Zodiac um, in the Zodiac version. Set your guild chance to 80%, set your item chance to 95%, and the max skill amount has to be 10. Then you set your result, uh, desired result to item 2, and then you'll see it says advanced to spawn 7, that is if you're in another location and you want to spawn the chest. Advanced for result, that is when we want to open the chest. So right now it says 23. Every time you hit yourself in this game, the RNG drops 10. Just make sure that you're actually unarmed when you do this. And that you have the diamond amulet equipped. And that you don't have any positive status effects on yourself that moves the RNG. Such as, as cure or what she did there. Someone forgot to turn off his gambits. <laughs> But as you can see, that actually moved. Okay, I'm, I'm in trouble here. There we go. That actually moved the RNG. Just just like casting a spell does not per move the RNG per se. Not until it actually takes effect. So as you can see, uh, throwing uh, protect actually took up two spaces. So now we gotta hit ourselves once. To move the advance for result 10 points. There we go. Now we gotta do this one more time. Now we are advancing for result that is one point. You can actually see it over on the tab. That contents one is going to be item two in one uh, uh, step. So how do we move it one step at a time? That you do with Cure. Cure moves it one step. And hitting moves in 10 steps. Here we go. We cure ourselves. And now we open the chest for the desired result. A Baltoro Seed. Now as I said, this is the struggle for freedom mod. So everything has been changed. The content of these chests. So I have no idea what's in them. It's kind of fun to run around and figure it out. And plus, it's easy with the RNG setup because all of it is said to um, to have the same spawn rate. Now, here's another chest. So let's see if we are correct about that. We gotta hit ourselves 22 times now. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Up, up, up. See, it doesn't really matter if you do combos. It'll still move at, at 10 points for each hit. Alright, we're almost there. You can also see if you get an unarmed combo. So you can always stop it in the end here so it doesn't go too far. But let's uh, let's hit ourselves one more time here. There we go. Now we gotta advance for result four steps. Which meaning we have to cure ourselves four times. One. Two. Three. And four. And now we open for desired result. Which is... A high ether. <laughs> so as you can see, the chests are even a lower chance of appearing and the loot is not even as good. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what he was thinking, but I think he was trolling people. He wanted you to get all the, uh, the gear and weapon differently in this mod. I haven't played it through yet, so I'm not sure how to get like the ultimate stuff. But I know that the Tornasol is still the same. But in terms of like the Zodiac Spear, the uh, Formal Hout, Kumba, all of that stuff, 
I got no no idea yet. So it would be fun to see if there's any in the chests here, but so far I've covered uh, the cross field and now the old Elaine's Road, and, and I haven't found anything good. All there was on this map was ammo all the way, and this one, yeah, items, consumables. Let's see if that uh, that adds up. We gotta advance, hit ourselves eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was a combo, actually. So we gotta go again. See, it doesn't matter. We just jump to the next one then. Hit ourselves eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more, please. There. Now we gotta advance for results. Six steps. I hope this is making sense. If not, you are welcome to... Uh, to ask in the comment section, I'll do my best to like describe it further. But it should be very self-explanatory. Just having the actual um, RNG helper open here, so it actually moves on its own. So it's super simple if you set it up like this. And a huge uh, shout out to Tranquility, who uh, who made this RNG helper. So once again, the desired result should be in the chest now. Of course, always remember to equip the diamond amulet, and we'll see what the result will be. Haste the Gamod. Yeah, so uh, I think my assumption is kind of correct. All of these uh, chests on this map is going to be um, uh, consumables. All of these were ammo. So probably all of these are weapons, armor, whatnot. There's still, still a couple of maps here to check out, but... That's uh that's the basic of the tutorial here. I hope it helped, cause um I I, I, I tried to figure this out. I actually thought this out on my own, cause there wasn't wasn't any tutorials on YouTube, uh, or, or anything like that. So uh, I decided to throw mine out there. But yet again, this tutorial only works if you have the struggle for freedom mod running on your version uh, on the PC. So if you're playing the regular Soria Gage, I assume. The RNG helper would work the same way, but you would have to know the exact spawn rate of every chest uh, in the game. So, that's what makes it simple with, <laughs> with this mod, that all of them is now 10%. Well, I hope this helped uh, some of you out there, and uh, thanks a lot for watching it. You're more than welcome to, uh, to ask in the uh, comment section. But uh, I hope it helps. Have a very nice day. Goodbye.